Hey there guys, next up is the Dark Rain fight. So this one we've made some changes to the team. We're bringing in Cecil instead of Fledgling Warrior. Uh, and this boss is honestly sort of irritating, <laughs> just to be completely honest here. But I think we're going to do the best we can. Alright, so on turn one, we're going to use Fina to put up the Bayment field. Now because we did a... Uh, evocation or a magic attack. The boss is going to counter it with AoE non-elemental magic, uh, self mirage, etc. But we're going to deal with that. So we're going to just guard these guys. Tyvis is going to, not yet, Prompto is going to break. We'll guard Bismarck, Fina, and Noctis. And Tyvis is going to Nethesite. So on turn one, the boss is going to counter the evocation damage right there and get four stacks of mirage as well as some attacks right here. <coughs> and we stop the Dispel with our Nethesite. So there we go. So this turn, we want to get set up for Bursting next turn without doing any kind of magical or evocation damage. So Tyvis will amplify, mod buff, and imbue the party. That way we don't attack the boss. Bismarck Fina will fill her LB, focus, and then just do something that doesn't attack the boss. Prompto will shift here. We'll do Amplify, Modifier, and Field. Noctis, we'll do Amplify, Imperil, and Modifier. Um, Return Fina is going to do Amplify on Bismarck Fina. Killer buff. And we're going to just hit the boss to get rid of a stack of Mirage. And Cecil is going to Barrage to get rid of more Mirage stacks. So none of these were magical or evocation attacks. So because of that, the boss will not use Mirage on this turn. <coughs> so here we go. Some attacks. Uh, not too big a deal. And now we're going to burst. So first of all, we're going to SLBU. Then we're going to LBU. We're going to LBU. We're going to LB Cecil in case we don't kill the boss. Tyvus will LB and Noctis will LB. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do all this. Now, the boss will either die or he won't. But as long as he goes under half, he's going to just threshold. He's also going to counter our um, uh, our stuff. Uh, but you'll see. So let's just, hope we, let's just hope we kill the boss with a high variant roll. That'll make it by far the easiest way to handle this. I'm, I'm irritated. I'm irritated. Uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. It's fine. So at 1%, we can just kill him through here. So we got dispelled and all that. But um, at 1% health, I think, honestly, we can, just, we can just rebuff and go to town. So we're going to just rebuff and go for it. So let's just rebuff right here. Um, Cecil will cover. Omni cover in case we, by some miracle, don't kill the boss. And that. Um, Prompto will... I mean, we're going to just literally straight chain. We're not even going to worry about trying to set up LBs and all because I, th I think we're going to super win right here. Um, normally, I would use LB fill on Prompto. I'd use LB fill on Noctis and Tyvus and all that. But uh, like I said, I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure the boss is dead right here. So we're going to just do this kind of stuff. And, you know, with a high roll, we could have just killed the boss right away. But uh, it didn't happen. And quad bolting... Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, he's really, really bulky after that threshold, but uh, it's fine. <coughs> so there it is. There, <coughs> there was our clear. Um, bulky, bulky boss. But uh, handled, handled. Yeah, so the boss would have dispelled us again that turn. A bunch of fixed damage that turn. Like, the boss is really, really irritating. So you want to get a quick clear in if possible. And is that really not a higher score than my previous run? I guess it wasn't. My test run was at higher roll. Anyway, at the current time, I'm rank 129. Um, still third place on my friends list. You know, I don't have NeoVisions Plus units. And if you don't have NeoVisions Plus units, like, you're not going to score well. So whatever. I don't care. Hopefully I got all the milestones, at least. The personal milestones. Let's go take a look real quick. Uh, I did. I did. So the personal milestones are handled. That's all I really care about. And I'll probably get, like, rank... 2000 or something. So I'll be getting Fenrir, Saul, and EX1 probably. I doubt I drop to under 2000, but hey, who knows? Maybe. Anyway, that was my Dark Visions Abyss Clears. So hope it's been enjoyable. See you next time.